Hi everyone, I'm Anne Marie Bortz with Coral Shores Realty, and I'm here to give you your August 2022 real estate market report. I know everywhere you hear on the news, oh, the sky is falling <laughs> as far as real estate, but that's really not what's happening, and this is in nowhere in comparison to the housing crisis and implosion we had back in 2008. Now, I'm going to go through these by counties. I'm going to be as brief as possible so you can get the information you need to make the right decision if you should decide to sell a home or purchase a home right now in the Florida area in this uh, four counties. Right now, let's talk about inventory first. The inventory has increased in all counties, regardless of where you are. If you can recall, just a few months ago, we were at two months of inventory in some places, three. And last year, when we were really deep into it, we were at less than a one month supply of homes, depending on your price point. Right now in Gainesville, there's a five month supply of homes, which is an increase, obviously. Marion is the highest with an eight month supply of luxury homes. And those are homes priced over 800,000. And Citrus County, the same price point, there are just over four months of inventory also rising. So that obviously is gonna impact your saleability depending on the price of your home and its location in the luxury market. Next, let's talk about the average days to sell. That is the amount of time it takes for you to get your house in the market and to actually have someone under contract. Obviously, those days are also increasing because of the rise of inventory. So there's more competitors and less buyers with the rising interest rates and the fear, obviously, of a recession. With that being said, the luxury home market in Gainesville, Alachua, right now is averaging about 35 days on market. Um, at one point, they were as low as 10 days on market for a home was priced over $800,000. In Marion County, that has increased, obviously. Um, that is also up to just under 60 days. Um, but in March of this year, Marion County had 110 days, which was really odd for luxury homes in that market priced over $800,000. The inventory, as I said, is going to be rising and will be changing all that. And I predicted that by the end of this year, we will be seeing a drastic rise in average days on market to contract. So what are my predictions for the local market? I don't see a crash. What I do see is a leveling out of prices, not a rapid decline. We still have so many people looking to buy in this area, constant new homeowners moving into the state and so what will have to happen is as inventory continues to rise we're going to have to market and sell our homes by pricing them properly knowing what's going on in the market is key to that and also hiring an agent who does actual marketing not just listing your property if you have any questions about the local real estate market again my name is Anne Marie Bortz I am with Coral Shores Realty and I do live locally. And you can please give me a call or find me on my website, buyinghomesofocala.com. Have a great day.